Howdy folks, uh, Corinda here from Corinda's Crafts and Music. I had a customer ask me to make a video uh, for them for the latest uh, Mia A-Style Celtic Mandolin. I call this the A8 Rose, um, Celtic style. Uh, it's got a hand rubbed oil finish on it, solid hand carved spruce top, uh, solid hand carved uh, figured maple back, sides, and neck. Um, it's got adjustable truss rod there. And on the headstock, it's got the Mia and the Rose and um, engraved tuners on the back. Um, and also it's got the uh, compensated adjustable ebony bridge and on this one I have the fan tailpiece um, some customers asked me about the fan um, it's not for just looks or trying to look traditional I use the fan tailpiece because they're a lot heavier uh, than the uh, traditional um, just the regular tailpiece with a cover on it uh, and it adds some um If you can hear it ring, it adds resonance to the instrument, so that's why I have it on there. Um, this is uh, completely acoustic. Uh, you see the uh, the end pin there, um, that where you just attach your your um, strap to it and everything. Um, and uh, this one has the uh, scalloped X tone bars on the inside, so so it's got a nice bass and a good treble to it and everything. So uh, let me uh, make a little uh, video for you and uh, play a few songs and let you hear what it sounds like. Uh, this one also has the uh, rosewood fretboard and everything. And um, it's got a very comfortable neck, uh, nice slow action. And uh, it's a, a simple mandolin, um, but these are made here um, at Clarinda's Crafts and Music in Greenbrier, Arkansas. And so let me let you hear what it sounds like. Also, this, like I said, has a hand rubbed oil finish uh, with shellac also, and um, that seals it and um, uh, works out very good. Um, it's much more durable than lacquer. Uh, living in Arkansas, we have a lot of humidity. And um, as I've talked with some of my customers, you know, in New Mexico area and things like that, which have very low humidity, uh, the oil holds up a lot better and things like that. And also for the drier climates that um, people may live in, I'm going to do a special treatment to the inside of the instrument um, to also help with the uh, dehydration and things that happen in uh, the lower uh, humidity areas. So let me see here. And this mandolin is brand new. Uh, this actually has a yellow finish on it. Um, it doesn't look yellow, obviously. But, you know, lots of times stains say one thing on the bottom. They come out another. And so it just has kind of a very light, rustic uh, color to it. There's a lot of rubbing. 
and um, sanding that goes into making making it this color and everything but it's um not quite natural um but it's kind of a kind of a yellow bit of a, a tan yellow saddle color to this one and it's very pretty sustain it's a lot of fun to play and everything and this is the uh, mia celtic uh, a8 mandolin uh, and these when i have the oval hole i tend to put the rose on the headstock uh just because my mom liked roses all the time so um that's the mia celtic uh, made here at Clarinus Crafts and Music in Greenbar, Arkansas. If you got any questions, uh, give us a holler at the shop, 501-314-8967. Uh, you can also check out this instrument and some of the others I've made uh, there at clarindasmusic.com. And um, we also make uh, mandolas and um, as well as the octave mandolins. And uh, we do make guitars. So uh, we do it all. Uh, we do setups. We do repairs. Um, whatever folks need. Thanks a lot. Um, give us a holler if you need anything. Bye now.